Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. And we have a very fun day planned for you. We have a fun time. We're going to do a tutorial of some note cards, a little note card set and a bag to hold them. And we have lots of things to talk about today. I am so happy that you're joining us. Um, I know I have some people from YouTube, so I say welcome to my YouTube friends and welcome to my uh, Facebook Live friends. Ellie is just yawning. You know, this is her nap time. I'm holding her a little bit differently today, so I'm kind of hoping she'll be willing to stay a little bit longer and get a little less irritated. <laughs> she always wants to go down and take her nap. And her bow is, her pony is just a little going off to the side today. Um, but we'll just go with it. So I'm going to make sure that we're live. I'm going to check here and make sure we're, we're coming out, coming to you live on Facebook. And if it's live on Facebook, then I know it's live on YouTube. So that gives me confidence. Okay, let's check it out here. Okay, there we are. Good. Okay, Roz, good to see you. Nala and Snuggles are napping too. Yes, but it's six o'clock there. I understand. I get it. I know. It's only three here. Um, but, you know, it gets dark early, but beginning today, it's going to start. Um, we're going to have more sunlight. I understand. The winter solstice is today. So, um, and what let's see one two three four days four or five days till christmas i've got all my shopping done finally do you guys have all your shopping done it i wasn't sure i was gonna make it but i did your bow is just funny today sweetie oh gosh i it's so much trouble to keep a bow in her hair she always wants to get it out right away tammy good to see you Good to see you. Snickers. Okay. You said it came out snuggles. I, I kind of wondered. <laughs> Mary Ellen, good to see you. Yes, we love the Christmas season. I've been playing Christmas carols. Um, and it's it's so wonderful. It it is just wonderful. As long as we don't get stressed out, right? from all the busyness. So has anybody been baking? I'm going to be doing some baking tomorrow. Tina, very cold, cold granite falls. Are you in that? I bet you're going to be in that very, um, very stormy weather, right, Tina? Oh, stay safe. Um, gosh, I know you guys, we had it earlier. Um, it wasn't as bad, of course, but we had a little, uh, we did have a little rain, I think, at last weekend or something, a little cloudy weather, but then it comes on over to you guys, it goes across the U.S. Um, yeah, well, anyway, so baking. I'm going to be doing some baking tomorrow. I'm going to, um, you're baking Tammy on Friday. Okay, right. And I'm going to be doing a little baking tomorrow. I think it, that's kind of a thing. We got to do our baking, right? And baking is fun. At baking is I really like baking in general. I like it much better than regular cooking. Marcia Long, good to see you. How are you doing today? From Texas, yes. How's the weather there, Marcia? Um, North Carolina is cold, and we are. We're actually not bad. I, I really hate to tell you guys we're in the 70s, but you could expect it of San Diego. But, you know, it's only for like a minute um, because it's been down in the 40s here at night. And it's, you know, that means the house is cold and it just gets up to 70 for a minute and then it goes right back down. So it stays really the house and the water and everything stay cold. Holly, Julie, good to see you guys. Glad you're here. 
Um, okay, well, Ellie is really telling me she wants to go back and take her nap, and that's okay because I have lots of stuff for us today. So let me just turn the camera up just a, a little bit and see if we can get it. Okay, I've got a lot to show you. You guys are wonderful. You and my Siomara, good to see you. My downline and my uh, customers, you've all been sending me beautiful cards and I've got to show them to you because they are so beautiful. So let's get started. I'll bring out the first one and let me just turn you down so that you can see. I just want to share so that you get some ideas for your own cards and you don't need to make a Christmas card. You can just use this this design. So that's kind of two tags, one on top of another. Isn't that one cute? That's from um, that's from one of my downline. Very cute. This one, Holly, I'm glad you're on. I think you're on here. I love this one. And you know what? I've re been resisting getting this punch, but it's so cute and it's carrying over. And so Holly, you have convinced me to get this punch. And I feel like I'm going to get the stamp set too, even though the stamp set isn't continuing. But look at how cute that little outline is. That's part of the stamp set. And I think I'm going to get it. It's just so cute. Roz, um, you're expecting cold weather and freezes next week. High in the 50s, but 20s at night. And that's in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this one is the gnome, one of the gnomes from my friend Brian King. I love getting cards from him. That's a really cute one. So thank you, Brian. And then Marsha, who is on here all the time and really follows me. Marsha, I'm telling you, I don't know why I'm showing you guys what to do. You do amazing work. Look at this, you guys. Look at this card. Look at how it just pulls out like that. Isn't that beautiful? Marsha, thank you so much. I love that. This is San Diego. You know, people are out there on the, they are out on the, on the beach. They really are. And I suppose we should be. We're just so used to it. We don't go. Look at that. Isn't that, I have trouble doing this angle thing. Look how she's done that. She's just cut that at an angle. Um, I love it, Holly. Thank you. Um, yeah, that is another neat one right there. I'm telling you, you guys are amazing. This is from um, a demonstrator friend of mine that's part of the um, PALS, the Stampin' Pretty PALS. That's because I'm under Mary Fish. She's my upline. And this is another gal, gal that's in the PALS, and she created this. And I really like this, the way she frayed those edges and that little tiny tag. I have to figure out where that's from. Very cute. This is one from a customer of mine who did a beautiful job with this. I don't know if this, I don't ever recall this from Stampin' Up, but I can tell that she's um, embossed it like on Mary Merlot paper and then uh, put silver on top of it. Isn't that pretty? This one is also from a customer, and I think the papers and the, there's some embossing there that's from Stampin' Up, but I don't think these two items are from Stampin' Up. And I've been trying to see if she, figure out if she actually made this or purchased it and glued it on there, but that is beautiful. And then, you guys, Anthony should be on here pretty soon. His card arrived from London. Anthony, thank you so much. I I really wish I did not get this set. But you guys, look how pretty that is. And pink, of course, in my favorite color. I love this. Isn't that beautiful? Anthony, thank you so much. I'm going to I'm going to write you a little personal uh, message. I'll send you a personal message, but thank you so much. And he he put that on the inside too. Isn't that just so cute? Oh, and look, designed by Anthony. I just love that. You guys are amazing. Thank you all so much. Okay, I'm just going to come back up. I love your cards. I appreciate your cards. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, news. What is new? I'm offering my very last class to go of the entire year. 
um, classes to go are some of my favorite things to do. And this class to go is based on, here's my little, um, if you go on my blog and I've uh, posted it here a little bit to um, this graphic for this particular class to go, I'm calling it beautiful birthdays for the new year. Because you know, well, I don't know about you, but I'm assuming that you're, you're somewhat like me in that boom, the new year happens and I have people that have birthdays on the 2nd of January and I'm never ready. So I wanted to get us going and give us some beautiful birthdays to start the year out. Now, because it's the end of the year and there's some, and shipping was, you know, shipping is slow right now. Um, I won't be mailing these until about January 6th but they're beautiful you can still use them for the new year just get other cards ready for those people who have those birthdays on the first and second and third so you know how i do i like to give you a little sneak peek of the cards the cards are going to use i have everything in this super cute little container isn't that just cute that's what that noise is um the, the class is going to use the Cottage Rose stamp set, and I know a lot of you have it. So um, if you just want the kit alone, it's $45. You get all the papers and everything cut and prepared to make six cards, two each of three designs, and the paper, you guys. I'm using my very favorite of this year, this annual catalog. My favorite paper is the Abigail Rose paper. And I love it. I think it makes the most beautiful cards. So this is one card, just showing it for like a second, okay. This is the second card that you'll make. And they're so pretty. Just the, the paper is so pretty. And this is the third one. It's a, uh, it's uh, with a belly band. And I might even throw in, I have another fun fold that we made a week or so ago, and I might throw in an additional one with that fun fold, because I like that. So with the class, um, you get three PDFs, one for each design, everything you need to make six uh, cards to each of three designs. You get a summary video that I make. You're going to get um, a combo set of petal pink Stampin' Blends, because you'll use that to create the cards. And this is pitiful. I only have a few left. <laughs> but the champagne, a, a, a package of champagne rhinestones. I love the champagne rhinestones. And they look so beautiful with the Abigail Rose paper. So, um, if you want to uh, pre-order this class per Stampin' Up, we have to do a pre-order and then I order everything. And the pre-order is going to end tomorrow night, Thursday, uh, December 22nd at 6 p.m. Pacific email me peggy at prettypapercards.com before then and i'll get a paypal invoice to you if you want the stamp set included it would be 70 dollars and shipping is in the price um so 45 for the kit alone shipping included and 70 if you want the cottage rose stamp set if you don't have it we're not using the dies just the stamp set um, but i know a lot of you a lot of you have it but we're going to make six gorgeous let me just put this back in my cute little isn't that just the cutest little container it makes me happy it makes me happier to do my kit because it's in such a cute little container <laughs> and thank you marcia um okay so that's the news my last class of the year to go now the next thing is you all know Da, 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 da. new catalog Yay! January through when does it end May 2023 beautiful spring catalog I love spring catalogs they have such pretty pretty springy things and so the catalog goes through May but the first two months of the year we have our special sale celebration where if you purchase a if you place an order of fifty dollars you get a free gift from this catalog now i can't open any of the catalogs yet because they're not live to customers but all that said um there are 14 beautiful designer series papers in this new catalog you guys know stampin up has the most beautiful designer series papers and i'm offering product shares and that is where you get a quarter of a package of each paper so you can try it out it's like 
kicking the tires of a car, like test it. And then the papers that you really like, you can buy the full package, but this way you get a little bit of each paper. And I'm also offering embellishment shares. So there aren't a lot of embellishments. No, wait, ribbon shares. Sorry, ribbon shares. My mistake. I don't do embellishment shares. I don't know why I said that. Um, ribbon shares. And there are only one, two, three, four, five, six ribbons in this new catalog, but they're pretty. So um, I always offer the shares. I know a lot of you love shares. I love shares myself. I used to get them when I was um, a young demonstrator, a new demonstrator. I don't I, I don't know. I wasn't really that young when I started with Stampin' Up. I wasn't like really young. Okay, we're going to stop that. That's enough of that conversation. However, when if you need shares, this is the place to get them. The shares are going to be $50 for the Designer Series Paper Share, 14 papers, um, $50, and $20 for the Ribbon Share, both for $70 but I throw in papers from celebration for you as my thank you. And I have to add $10 for shipping because shipping has gotten so expensive and the papers do weigh. So the paper shares are, um, I don't, I, I need to take, um, I need to take like there, it's a pre-order again. And, but I can't collect the money way far in advance. There's a law they tell us about that. So uh, you you email me, Peggy at prettypapercards.com, and I have a form that you can fill out. There's a link here. Hi, Allison. Good to see you. <laughs> There's a link on Facebook for a form that you can fill out, a reservation form for the shares. The link doesn't continue on into um, into YouTube. So just email me and I will send you the link so you can fill out the reservation form. And on January 1st, I'm going to be sending out all the PayPal invoices for the shares. But take my word for it, you're going to want these beautiful papers. Okay, so let's start on our project. Oh, last chance items and clearance rack still available till January 4th. That's two weeks from today. Okay. Let's see the project, and I'm going to hold it up first for you. This is a little bag containing our project today. This is a little gift bag, and our project is four little note cards. I've done this before, but this time we're going to use the Ringed with Nature stamp set. So let me turn you down so that you can see the cards. So here's the little bag. And it's really cute. I'll decorate it with you in a few minutes. And I wanted to show you this bag because I like this bag. I've got the cards in one of our Stampin' Up! medium clear envelopes. And it seals on the back. There's some sticky on the back. And when you put four note cards with envelopes in there, it slides right inside of this little bag. And it makes such a nice gift. I mean, a lot of other things, candy and so forth, fit in this bag, right? And you could definitely add candy or just fill it up with candy. But I thought it was cute with the little note cards. And I've used the Ringed with Nature stamp set to create this circle and some um, pretty ribbons. And I'll show you that in a little while. Here's the package of the bags. They're called Emboss Treat Bags. And you get 10 of them for $7.50, you guys. I wanted to tell you they're in the annual catalog right here on page 140. Right down here on page 140 of the annual catalog. And that, you know, that is cheaper than you can get anything anywhere else. Um, even if you paid a dollar per bag, it would be $10, but this is $7.50 for 10 bags, and they're not shabby. They're really nice and sturdy. They have this handle in them. They're ribbed, uh, what they call embossed, and you can um, do your blender pens over them. Anyway, I like these bags. Okay, so let's take a look at the cards. So the the... The reason I thought of this is because, thank you, Roz. Um, the reason I thought of this is because I have some friends who are sick. 
I have one friend who's very, very sick in the hospital, and I have other friends that have um, COVID and co bad colds. And I, I saw on the Ringed with Nature stamp set, now this is in the holiday catalog that's retiring. However, the Ringed with Nature set is carrying over, and so are the dyes. I'm not using the dyes today, and it will not carry over as a bundle, but the stamp set has so much in it that I really recently noticed. It has thinking of you. It has happy anniversary. You know, when we need an anniversary card, aren't we running around saying, where's a stamp set that says happy anniversary? Well, there it is. And get well soon. And I love this house and I love the flowers. So when I saw the stamp set, I thought, okay, these would be per perfect little note cards for my to send to my friends who are not feeling well. And I think this is going to be continuing into the new year. I really do for another month or two. I think we're going to have friends that get sick. We might get colds and so forth. Um, and hopefully not COVID. I already had it done, done with that, hopefully. But, um, we won't go into that either. But we need, as card makers and friends and thoughtful people who love to send cards. So I've made what at first I thought was a one layer card, but now I think it's a two layer card because a one layer card is just actually no pieces on top. And I have added a layer. So I actually think this might be called a two layer note card. But I've made it from the note card set, and I'll show you that in just a minute, using Ringed with Nature, and I just tried out all different colors. Look at these pretty colors, and but the design on each one is, is the same. Okay, this one is um, Sweet Sorbet, and this one is Polished Pink, and here's the little pink envelope. Aren't those super cute? And so I want to show you how to do this today. Now, um, what was I going to... Oh, I was going to show you the note cards. Okay, we're going to use the note cards. This is one of my favorite deals in the Stampin' Up! catalog. Those little bags are too. These basic white note cards, 20 note cards, 20 envelopes, $10. You cannot beat this deal. And they're wonderful. I keep several packs in my cupboard all the time to pull down and use just for occasions just like this. So basic white note cards. And so let's get started. Here's our Ringed with Nature stamp set and here's what we're going to use. Um, so let's get going. And today, for this one, I'm going to make another purple one. I'm going to use Highland Heather, the ink. So these note cards are um, thick, thick, uh, basic white cardstock. They're made out of thick cardstock. So they're very stable, substantial. They make a lovely, lovely gift. Thank you, Tina. And of course, it comes with its own envelope, so we're going to set those to the side. And then what I'm going to stamp on is a four by three and a half piece of basic white cardstock. And I've got my stamps. Actually, I think we can use, yeah, let's use purple. I was going to use something else, but we'll use purple. We'll use Highland Heather. I also got out Daffodil Dill Delight because I hadn't tested that yet. but. Um, let's go with with our um, Highland Heather and we, we will use as our green soft succulent and we'll see how this comes out. So I'm going to start with my green and I put most of the stamps on blocks to get ready. So I'm going to start with and this is, you know, you discover things about stamping up stamps and dies when you start working with them. You discover fun things. So this is a little leaf stamp. And I'm just going to put it on just like that. And interestingly, can you see those what looks like three little flowers? 
Well, guess what? It's the, those are the inside of the flowers. And I'm gonna show you in a minute how that works. The next thing I'm gonna stamp is um, another stem. I wanna do the green, I'll get the green all stamped. So this is another stem and we're gonna put this right about there. Okay, and then we can come back in with all of our Highland Heather for a bit and create the flowers. So I'm going to pull out the flowers that go on this little, this little one and I'll show you how it works. So the stamp that goes with it, that coordinates with it, are these three little flowers. I don't know if you can see. You will be able to when I actually do the stamping. Okay, and what you do is you just hover, because it's cl clear or photopolymer, you just kind of hover over the already stamped stem and leaves and you get the circles over the little floral look thing here. And I'll have to pull it up right next to me so I can see. And it just turns out super cute. Look at that. Can you see how the little centers are right inside the flowers? The stamps coordinate perfectly. You could see it, let me see if one of the other colors shows it better. Here I used a lighter green, and you can kind of see that a little bit better. Here, oh, here's the polished pink, and that green. Can you see those little flowers? Isn't that cute? Cherie, good to see you. Perfect timing. Okay, now we're gonna come in with some other flowers. Um, this is kind of a pod, kind of a wintry pod looking stamp. And we're gonna put that right inside of this one, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is stamp the pod a little bit around to kind of fill in the area in three different corners. We're just gonna stamp that pod. So let me stamp it there. And it's just amazing what you can do with just one piece of paper when you're just playing. No dies, no, nothing, just stamping. It really is fun. Okay, so there we have, I don't think I need my graph paper anymore. Isn't that pretty already? Now I'm going to get my sentiment which is thinking of you. And I'm gonna pull back out my, do I want soft succulent? No, maybe I'll go with the, I'll go with the Highland Heather again. Okay, now this one is easy to line up because the bottom of the stamp is straight, the of you part. So I'll show you, because normally you would think, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to get that lined up just perfect, but you can. I'm trying to get plenty of ink on there. And then you just line up of you right down there. And look how nicely that comes out. Thinking of you. Okay, now we're gonna, there's also the cutest little heart. This stamp set, let me see how many stamps it has. 22 different stamps and they're so cute. So I'm gonna put one little heart here, and then I'm gonna put another little heart right there. And there you go. Isn't that just adorable? And we've combined um, the Soft Succulent and the Highland Heather, just two colors, and we've made a really pretty card. Now before we finish our stamping, we're gonna go back in and do our envelope. You know how we do. And I'm gonna do that cute triple flower. Let me get that triple flower stem. And we'll do that again because it's so cute for the outside of our envelope right here. Thanks, Allison. And here's the little triple flowers. These two colors look very pretty together. They're both soft. And then I'm centering the flowers over the little flower centers. And that makes just a cute outside. 
and let's put the same little stem on the inside. We'll put it right over here on the inside of our note card. Just like that. And then we'll get our little flowers again. And we'll just hover over. Isn't that just darling? I I really just think it is. I you know, I don't know. I just have so much fun with all of these things. Just the smallest little things excite me. <laughs> but you know, that's what I love about stamping, is that it's just downright fun. Okay, so now we're ready to put our four by three and a half inch piece right on top of our note card front. And we could lift it up on Stampin' Dimensionals, but I wanted to just show you something simple. And I think today's note cards are pretty simple. And so I'm just going to lay the front down with multi-purpose glue, just like that. Move. I have the ability to move it around a bit. Okay, just like that. And then what I'm going to do, let me press this again. Because it's thick cardstock, you need to really press that fold to get that card to lay down. Let's try it again right here. Okay. And now I'm going to put on some of these gold adhesive back swirls that are not available. But the reason I'm showing you this, thank you, Marcia. The reason I'm showing you this is because I'm giving these away today to one the winner today. And I'm also giving them away next Wednesday because I'm using them on my projects. I had saved up several. Now I only have one more package after I give all these away. I only have one package left, so I don't know when I'll give those away, but I have enough for this week, this Friday, and then Wednesday, Friday, and then the following Wednesday. So if you want some of these, make sure to put the word prize. So the thing I like about these adhesive back swirls is that they're flat, which means they are not, you don't really need to worry about them when they go through the mail. They're nice and flat, and I really appreciate that. Okay. So there is our note card and our envelope. And how quick was that, right? Super quick. And all, you, all I did is make a set of four. There I used a different green. I used Parakeet Party. Aren't those just, they're all made the same way. Aren't they super cute? And then I wanted to show you something else. Let me take off the most recent one. Um, where is my medium envelope? Okay, here's my here's my little bag. And well, I'm going to go ahead and use I, I want to show you. This is one of our medium clear envelopes. And all four of these cards and envelopes fit inside of this clear envelope. And what I usually like to do is I like to turn my envelopes facing out so that when I put a card or a set of cards in here, the person who receives it, let me get that off my finger, um, it really looks nice. So there they can see there's a front. I probably would actually put the pink envelope on the back and then that is just going to slide right in there in your envelope. And isn't that just so cute? So all I did for this is exactly, basically the same thing. These are some more stamps. I used the Soft Succulent and the Highland Heather. It has just for you right in the same set. It has these little branches, these little leaves. And then I just um, tied a bunch of ribbon. I stapled it on and you have a darling gift. Isn't that just a really nice gift to give someone? I, I really think it is, and that's what I wanted to show you today. Now, I did want to show you one other quick thing before we do a prize, and that is when you do these note cards like this, you're going to need to clean your stamps in between. 
you're going to need to clean off your stamps and you want to clean them really well and you want them to stamp right away well the next time so you can make your next note card in the new color so i use the stampin up scrubber okay here is the scrubber i've shown it a time or two but i wanted to remind you about it because i think it's a basic that everybody should have and it has this fuzzy stuff on each side these pads come out there's a little triangle here you can i i usually use a knife or something i mean like a non-sharp knife to pull my pads out so i don't break a nail and on the corner there you really can't see it i'm looking at what you're seeing um is um some raindrops and over here is a sunshine and that way um, you do the wet on one side the dry on the other side so i spray on here i spray the stamp and mist the camera is looking very sharp i just spray my stamp and mist just like that and then i clean off whoops i clean off my stamps and dry them just like that um, clean and dry and then they're ready for my next stamping pretty easy huh let's see oh thank you thank you Lori good to see you so let me come back up and we'll choose a prize thank you guys for popping around today I know it's Christmas week and everybody's busy but I thought you know I'm not really busy and I know some of you like like to look at um, videos and like to learn new things so I'm just gonna keep on I'll be on here on Friday the 23rd too I'm not serving at my home or anything so I have time so I'll be here this Friday and we'll do a little something a little something something so the prize for this week as I mentioned is some of the adhesive back swirls the gold adhesive back swirls and the winner this week is she's on here marcia long congratulations marcia good to see you thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys so i'll get this out to you right away and you'll be able to use these and then for next week same thing next wednesday so if you want some more of the if you didn't win if you're not marcia put prize and you might win next time um marcia's alone too so congratulations marcia and um i'll pop these in the mail to you with the with the way things are it might it might take a week or two but they'll get there and so i hope you guys have a, if i don't see you on friday i hope you have a wonderful wonderful christmas don't forget if you are interested in birthday cards for the new year um, you only have until tomorrow december 22nd at 6 p.m to let me know that you would like to pre-order email me peggy at prettypapercards.com and i'll send you a paypal invoice 45 dollars for the kit including mailing and it will go out in january and that way you'll have some nice birthday cards for the you know in the in the first of the year so have a wonderful week and if you're a 